Welcome! My intention here is to present the MA in Cultural and Arts Management that we offer at the University of Winchester. This PowerPoint presentation has the form of a pecha kucha. It is composed of 20 slides, each one on the screen for 20 seconds. The pecha kucha model is popular in the creative industries, which is why it is relevant to use it here. This presentation is structured in four parts. I will outline the aim of our MA, I will tell you more about our students, who we are and how we work. I will also tell you about current developments. You can see four smiling students, Chrissy from Germany, Nicole from China, Marilise from South Africa and Annabelle from England, which already gives you an idea about the students' demographics. The overall aim of our MA is to prepare students to work successfully at management level in artistic and cultural organizations. We cover the whole range of artistic organizations, from fine arts to performing arts, from galleries to theatres, via poetry, dance and music. Our cohort of students is very international, hence all those passports. We've had students from Israel and Colombia, from France and Japan, from Canada and Spain. Our MA has elements of flexibility, important for part-time students who complete the course for professional development purposes, hence this image of the ladder going towards the sky. All our MA graduates are employed in a range of settings, for example at the Neufield Theatre in Southampton, where two of our graduates work, or at the Anvil Theatre in Basingstoke, where two other graduates are employed. You can also see a photo from Dove House School in Basingstoke, a special needs school where an MA graduate is head of drama. Upon completion of the MA, some students prefer to be self-employed and set up their own businesses, as Caroline and Annie here, in events management and the music industry. We have a strong focus on enterprise, and we prepare our MA students to such pathways. They use the MA as a springboard into their own freelance career. Our MA is professionally relevant. This is its distinctive feature, its unique selling point. This is reflected in our pedagogy itself, the way we work through workshops and discussions and tutorials, in the assessment, with assignments that correspond to realistic forms of communication and the input of guest speakers from the creative industries. To give you an example, students do not write a 20,000 word dissertation at the end of their studies, but they have to complete a professional project which can be very concrete, as Philippa here, a painter, who organized and curated an exhibition of her own paintings. That was our final assignment for our MA a couple of years ago. For visual artists, exhibitions can be in a gallery, this is a traditional model, or they can be online. And last year, one MA student, Gil, designed and curated an exhibition of his work online. The viewer can zoom in and out and can move 360 degrees around. This is all on his website. Indeed, all MA students are encouraged to have their own website. We work a lot with IT. All our classes take place in computer labs. Students learn to use Web1 and Web2 technologies, tools such as Prezi, WordClouds, Wikis, Twitter, Skype, SurveyMonkey, and Pechakuchas, of course. We do not just spend all our time in front of computer screens, though. We always have many group discussions, as you can see here, as well as hands-on learning activities, using both hemispheres of our brain, the left side more analytical, and the right-hand side more creative, Indeed, the whole MA is about this complementarity of the creative process and the management process. We also have weekly seminars about contemporary issues affecting artistic and cultural organizations. The seminars are led by students themselves and enable us to keep abreast of key changes affecting the sector, for example, new government policies. The seminars are interactive, they are assessed, they last one hour. We do not just talk about artistic and cultural organizations, we also go and visit them, largely thanks to our network of alumni. For example, last month we went to the British Museum, where Sam took us on the VIP tour she normally gives to foreign dignitaries. She also explained to us matters of security with bodyguards, which is yet another way of learning about arts management. We also set up and organize our own projects, even on a small scale. For example, fundraising for Japan, following the tsunami of March 2011. So we do not live in an academic bubble of arts and academia, but we engage with the community and the outside world. Our MA is very successful. It's been praised by our external examiner last year. To quote him, the modules are well designed from the curriculum point of view, combining simplicity, 
with flexibility, which promotes relevant learning for each individual. Students, too, have always given us very good feedback. We have also been recognized as an example of good practice for assessment of students at master's level internationally. Here is a screenshot stressing how our individual authentic assignments are relevant for students, especially for their career in the creative industries. This type of recognition by external peers is very important for us. We welcome applications all year long. Our MA has two points of entry. Most new students start in September, though a couple always start in January. This too is possible. The entry requirements, as you can see, are fairly standard, having a degree and a suitable command of English. Previous students have told us that they found three aspects particularly useful. The professional relevance of the course, the fact that it is not abstract and theoretical. The internship, that many students organize and complete unless they already work in the creative industries. And also the skills, especially IT skills, that students develop. Our MA, at the moment, is only offered face-to-face -face in Winchester, but we are developing an online version to allow for distance learning so that students do not have to be on campus. This online version will be available from 2013 onwards. This is our main project in terms of strategic development. And, to conclude, here is a slide showing a word cloud of our MA student handbook with proportionally by size, the main words in that document, as we have the learning experience at the center, again with a focus on professional development, and that concludes our Pichacucha, 20 slides, 20 seconds each. Thank you.